Hello everybody, Brad here today and welcome back to Project Hospital. So, we're going to start today being in doctor mode up in our general surgery department where we have Peter Barkley who is suffering with some urinary urgency. I mean, who doesn't want to have some urinary urgency? Okay, so Peter, can you please, well Elizabeth, can you give him a physical exam? Let's have a look at his abdomen and what else? Let's do, oh I don't know, you might do a blood draw, cystitis, kidney stones, UTI. Okay, well let's do, could you look at barium swallow? What does it say here? Examine the lumen of your esophagus, stomach and intestines. Oh. I don't really know what you would do. Well, let's leave Peter alone. Let's go look at Elizabeth Green. She's suffering from frequent urination. Oh, we do physical exam, do abdomen. And I think these guys, I mean, you would see, you'd see a kidney stone on an x-ray, wouldn't you? Let's do an x-ray of the back and see what, comes out with that. John Miller had the wrong um, diagnosis. You must have your arm contusion. Right, Peter Barkley, what's the matter with you? What's the matter with you? You can have your back x-rays well. I don't know if that's going to help or not, but um, we'll see. We will see. So what does green mean? I keep forgetting what, the, what it all means. Green is, okay, so they're going through their examinations. Okay, cool. Um, Mary has had her x-ray. Okay, she's now got fever as well. Oh, this is a different person. You've got cloudy. It's all about the urine here today, isn't it? It's all about the wee. Okay, so you've got UTR kidney stones. Well, let's also give you a back x-ray. And because you've got the UTI, let's give you... Drawing of blood for serological tests. But you need like, my, yeah, so you go for your microbial sampling. But if it's a urinary, what bacteria is common for a UTI? I don't know what the most sort of common bacteria is. Probably should have looked at some of them, but okay. Okay, so Daniel King, you're suffering from vomiting, weight loss, fever, nausea. So I've got esophageal esophagitis, inflammation of the esophagus, or inflammation of the pancreas, excessive alcohol abuse, oh okay, well let's go, let's have a look down your, let's have a look down your throat, let's do oral cavity inspection, and we'll see how that goes I think. So what's yellow, what does the yellow and orange mean? Waiting for, waiting for player. Ah, oh, I didn't, I forgot about that, didn't I? Okay, hello Casey. You're suffering from weight loss and weakness. Ah, okay, let's do physical exam. Let's do a gastroscopy. Oh no, it's not gonna do much for you. Let's do, well, let's x-ray your chest so we can have a look at the sort of COPD or any infection in your lungs. Let's see how that goes. Right, okay, I'm going to get rid of you two now. You can go and sort yourselves out with your patients. And we're going to get down to hopefully some building. So our objectives that we kind of want to do in this episode, which would be nice, is to treat 30 patients per day save one patient after they've collapsed and to treat five patients per day in our specialised department. So does this tell me how many patients I've treated? Zero today so far. So we probably want to start thinking about getting our hospitalisation for general surgery because then it means they won't go home. You know, at the end of the day, as soon as they 
if they don't know what's wrong with them and then the day comes because we haven't got any type of hospitalization here for general surgery they will just go home which isn't great yeah exactly here the patient cannot be hospitalized okay so let's pause the game and we're going to start thinking about our hospitalization because we haven't got to get anything like general surgery yet the only thing that is quite annoying I think if I'm correct yes we do have to get all of this which I suppose it isn't that much it's more the staff because we do need surge well, we only need one surgeon in a day so we'll kind of we'll do bare bones I think at the start and then we'll kind of work our way up to building out this department so let's have a little extension and we'll go up there. Can I go up there, please? Oh, I did do my foundations. We're going to need. Well, we might as well do all of this. I can't see much point in um, trying to be stingy with our size. So let's do that. Then we have a brick coming down there and there. Then we can get rid of that wall just there okay so let's have we'll have another door that comes into the um the surgery department here i don't think that actually be used that much because i hope that all the patients would go would go through reception first but we'll see how that goes so we want we need on-call room nurses station diagnostic unit regular ward and our high dependency unit so our diagnostic units can be fairly small. So what we could do is if we bring out some walls here, one, two, three, let's start five. Ah, ah, from there. And how long is that? Eight. So we could get two in there. Um, one, two, three, four. Okay, so we could get two diagnostic units there. Then we could start thinking about having our ward with our on-call room and nurses station. But it's how we want it to be set out really, isn't it? Because I quite like having the on-call room and the nurses station kind of inside the ward. And then what I thought we could do is have like a little separate bit for the high dependency patients. What's the thinking? Maybe with the operating theatre down here. That's the thinking, guys. That's the thinking. So if we go regular ward from there and do something like that, 18 by 10, what kind of... So, hospital bed. So we want our hospital bed to be there with our bed socket, uh, our bedside cabinet, and then we want some things like a little table and like a chair for visitors to come and sit on just to make it look a little bit nicer where do i find the chairs again is it in here um a fancy let's go with that kind of chair like so and then on top of that table we'll go for a flower i think that and then what we want is like a little wall like having a little wall in between and then maybe a watch window just there. So how many of those can we get in here? So that's two, three. Let's go for the four. Then what I'm gonna do is do one more on that side. And then if we get rid of that, that's gonna be our regular ward for the moment. That there. Then the same is going to go for our HDU just there, but just a little bit smaller. Then what I thought we could do is then in the middle have kind of that like on-call room, nurses station kind of room. So if we do that and then we come back to here and we say on-call room is going to be there. And how big do you need to be? Let's do five by five five like that and then in these little rooms we're going to need some desks let's get the cheap desks for the moment 
Let's go one. Probably like that is probably better. And then we'll just pop in these desks. A bit like that. We'll get in, I think, stools for the nurses. And then maybe office chairs for the doctors, because I hope the nurses will be up and down a bit more often. And we'll get PCs, two for doctors, and we'll get three for the nurses. Then in between here, we'll get some like cabinets. You know, that kind of jazz. And in terms of walls, we're gonna want a wall there and there. So we can extend our HGU. Then we want a wall across there. And probably a wall there. And what does that look like? It looks a bit silly at the moment. And what does it look like if we put in glass there? I think that looks pretty cool. And what do we have this side? Well, if we go glass like there, oh, I want to be there. That looks quite cool, doesn't it? And then maybe some more glass there. And that kind of be our wall. So if we go across there, and there, and down there, I we need to paint that bit. Okay, I think that looks cool pretty cool and if we go hmm actually if we come out of there and across then here if we have a gap like that then that can be our entrance I have a couple of entrances I like that that's pretty cool and then in here we can put all of like the the little bits and bobs. So if I expand the regular ward, then in here we put things like the def oh is that all we need? Just a defibrillator. And maybe we put a couple of sofas and because then in here we could put a radio. What else could we pop in here? Some nice plants. Now, I assume we can put like vending machines and things like that in here. I can't see why we wouldn't be able to do that in a water dispenser. I like that. I like that a lot. We'll get a little whiteboard because that'll have like the patients' names and stuff and where their beds are. Okay, so what are we missing from our doctors? Ah, we're missing our printers and stuff. So let's just get one paper holder, one printer. And then in here we'll get a printer, paper holder, even though we don't have to have anything in here. So have we got doors there or windows? That is actually like a walkway, isn't it? I don't know if I like that being a walkway or not. Well, let's do that. But then here we'll have a restricted access door. Just for staff. So in here we need, ah yeah. So if we get rid of that one, and here we can have things like the mill trays and the equipment cabinet. Yes. Like so. Okay, so that's that. And then this here I think I'm going to do wood. And then the rest of the ward would look pretty cool in that weird line floor. Do something like that. Um, and around there. That's the only thing that goes a bit weird, doesn't it? Well, because we can't see that bit, let's have that bit as the plane. Maybe like that. And that's plane. I think that's pretty cool. I'm happy with that. You'll be hospitalised in a minute, Daniel King. And then HDU, what I think we'll do is if we copy one of them, we will get rid of the witch, the witch window. We definitely want a witch window. And then for the HDU, you need the life monitor. Uh, I'd quite like to 
get the privacy screen. So maybe something like that. And how many of them will I be able to fit here? Let's have one there. And hmm. What's good there and there? We'll go around. Oh, we didn't copy the right bloody ones, did we? <sighs> useless, I am. Absolutely useless. Right, let's actually copy the right one this time. Why is it not copying the privacy screen? Oh, because it's on the it's on the wrong bit, isn't it? Okay, if I get rid of oh god, I'm already minus. I'm already minus, guys. I'm already minus. Okay, so let's get rid. Well, I we have to get rid of one of those life monitors at least. If we get rid of that one, yeah, let's get rid of that one. So we've got five hundred quid. That's not a lot at all. Um, and what do we need? Just a defibrillator. Okay, so that's not too bad then. We'll get that. Um, down there. I'd like the privacy screen there if possible. Okay, so we're minus £13, but I think we've got everything. Uh, the diagnostic unit. I forgot about that. Treat five patients per day at any specialised department. I don't think we've treated anyone yet, have we? One. Hmm. If I delete that, the problem is that it's still not going to be enough for a diagnostic unit, is it? Um, hmm. I don't know how. £1,286. Okay, well, maybe what we'll have to do is we'll wait. Which is annoying because we could have got hospital oh, if I can speak properly, hospitalisation done. But let's go around and we'll do the stuff. So doctor, we need three doctors in the bloody day here. That's annoying. And we'll give you a paper holder. So doctors, let's get in. Right, we're going to need. Let's get you, because you can be our anesthetologist. Then we'll have to go fairly cheap with our remaining doctors. In the night we just need one. Let's get you, because you're pretty good. Karen. Hello, Karen. Come on. Come on in, Karen. Ah, one needs to be a surgeon. Dana, 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 Dana. You're gone. You've been here five minutes and you're already gone. Sorry, love, but you know, I've got to get this hospital going. It will go James Baker. Nurses. So let's go for. Oh, everyone's a bit crap here, look. Do you need surgery? You yeah, only need two surgery nurses. I have to go for you two. One more in a day, so we'll go cheap. And then one nurse at night. Let's go for you because you're pretty good. Okay, I always need some stretchers now. So let's go here. Stretchers. Where do I find stretchers? Um, we go there. And then we'll get these outside, might be better. A bit like that. How is that? I know obviously you're not quite there yet because you haven't got your diagnostic unit. I hope that means that you can be hospitalised. Yeah, observation. So I hope that means that he's going to go in for that. I'll give him all of his little treatments. So Daniel King is fine and dandy. Now we're just going to try and get up a little bit of money to do our diagnostic unit. Oh, he's been transported to another hospital. Well, that's a bit of a kicking in the teeth, isn't it? 
Done all of that, and now he's being transferred to another bloody hospital. Right, diagnostic unit. What do we need for a diagnostic unit? We'll have to go as basic as possible, unfortunately, for the moment, anyway. Read exam table. So let's get you in. Why oh, can't I put you in your oh, There you go. Let's put you there. 4,999 pounds. Wow, that's expensive. Okay, so we can let that go. So this was green. There's still no clear diagnosis for her. So let's do. I have to do like loads of random ones. Let's do CRP. Let's do blood pressure. Let's do. Let's do a blood draw actually, and microbial sampling. Let's do all of the all of the. Um, all of this sort of tests. Do all of that and evaluation. Just to have a look at what's wrong with Elizabeth. Because we're not too sure, guys. We're not too sure. How many patients have we treated today? Two. Right, so let's work on this. So who have we got here? That is Elizabeth Green. Okay, and who's this? Mary Wright. So she's currently going through her microbial sampling. What else can we do? Let's do physical exam. Let's do um, Have you had your you're going through your microbial cultivation currently, okay. We might need some more scientists working in our labs as well fairly soon. Um, because it's pretty it's quite busy in there. So let's go ahead and for our Medical laboratories. We're going to get one more person in the day. Let's go. Is that clean? Yes, clean feet. You're actually pretty good. So let's get let's get Peter Clark in micro, and for hematology, let's get in. Hmm, your clean shoes, long commute. Rest levels decrease slower. Let's go for Frank Lopez for hematology. So we have some more hands in our labs, which should um, speed up all these processes. That's another person treated there. What's going on with Elizabeth Green now? Yeah, so she's going to go and have all of her testing done. Which is great. She still might not be fully diagnosed even after that. Got Kate Harris here. I need to give her some diet modifications. Let's get her out of the door as fast as possible, it would be great. Do we need another doctor here? Maybe not quite yet, but it'll have to be fairly soon. Because we've actually got quite a busy little clinic here for our general surgery department. Oh! Money! Guys, I've got some money! Awesome. Right, so here. Let's finish off our diagnostic unit, then our hospitalisation is open for business. So let's get bin, disinfectant, go a couple of equipment cabinets, eye test, um, mobile workstation. We'll go for a little whiteboard because I think they look really cool. We need a medical light for our bed and we need audio meter and a CRP scan. Then in here we're going to go for just a plain tiled floor. I think I'm going to get two of these rooms because they actually get quite busy. So let's get two of them. I've done something else, I don't know what. What did I do? Ah, open hospitalisation. Awesome. So that's done. Our general surgery hospitalisation is open for business. So let's just continue the floor up here. Go to like there. That's the only thing that annoys me because we've done this in the rooms as well. It all goes a little bit funny. So let's have that can just be like that. And then that can join. I'm not going to see that there. 
So you can. Well, I'm not going to see you, so let's do that. And then that. And what I'll do is I'll just chuck down a plant or something there so we don't see it. Let's mark all of that as a corridor so it's on the priority list to clean and hopefully keep clean. All up there, it's about there. Should be dandy. And then in the middle, we can go for the plain tile, like so. There and there, like that. And in this corridor, we can say just put a plan there just so you, you don't see the uh, join up quite as much okay so that's our hospitalization done for general surgery let's go to the end of the day here and hopefully we'll get a few more patients treated through this clinic I think we do need another doctor so let's get in one more doctor here so let's go for some of good diagnosis you're pretty good Jordan Garcia and you're fairly cheap so let's get in you Robert Lee got incorrectly diagnosed. You actually have IBS, so you need some diet modification, which you're having currently. That's good to see. Okay, I hope that extra doctor just provides a little bit more capacity for our general surgery department. So we've treated 29 patients at the moment. Hopefully we can get one more out the door today, and that will be another objective done, which will be awesome. So we've done quite a lot. I know we struggle a little bit with money, but you know we're doing okay now, and we've got sort of the basis of um, of a department in. So let's go and we'll just copy that. So our HCU is more than just one bed, because the HCU wouldn't have just one bed. And we'll just go to those watch windows because if you're in the high dependency unit, you're probably not doing too good. So you probably do not want to be um, watched. So let's do that. That's one more bed in our HCU. Oh, we've got a patient as well. Look, Robert Lee's in here. Okay, well, I'm going to leave this episode here for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you again very shortly with some more Project Hospital. Have an awesome day. See you later. Thank you very much for watching the video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please consider giving it a like and subscribing to the channel down below if you haven't done so already. And please feel free to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Have a great day. See you later.